In this video, you're going to learn how to create a balance command for your Discord.js bot. This command will allow users to check their own balance or the balance of another user. So let's get into our code editor. And if you guys are new around here and want to know how I created a command and event handler like this, I'll have that video linked down below. And if you guys are completely new to Discord bot development, I'll also have a playlist linked down below where we start Discord bot development from scratch. Anyway, let's start by creating a new file inside our economy folder, which is inside the commands folder, and we're going to call this balance.js. As usual, our file is going to export an object. This object will first of all have the name, which is balance, the description. In this case, the description is going to be see yours or someone else's balance. And then we're also going to add options. We're only going to have one option, which is going to be the user. The description of this option is going to be the user whose balance you want to get. And the type is going to be, of course, the type of user. But in order to use that, we're going to have to import something from Discord.js. We're going to have to import application command option type. So go ahead and import that. And inside type, we're going to use that. And then we're going to say dot user. Of course, as I said before, this is optional, so we don't need the required property. So we can just ignore that altogether. Now we're going to add our callback function at the top. So let's just say callback. And this is going to give us client and interaction as the parameters. And this next step is completely optional. But if you want to have IntelliSense, you can go ahead and import client and interaction from Discord.js. And right before the callback function, I'm going to type forward slash double asterisk. And for my client parameter, I'm going to use client from Discord.js and the same for interaction. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're first of all going to make this function asynchronous because we're going to be using a wait inside of it. And the first thing that we're going to do when this command is executed is check if the command is being executed inside a server. If it's not, then we're going to tell the user. So let's say if not interaction dot in guild. In that case, we're going to say interaction dot reply and we're going to pass in the content, which is you can only run this command inside a server. We're also going to pass ephemeral, which is going to be true. And basically, this means only the person who ran the command will be able to see this message. After this, make sure you also return so that this function is not executed any further. Outside of this if statement, what we're going to do next is get the target user ID. So if the user was provided, then we're going to set the target user ID to this user or else we're going to set the target user ID to the person running the command. So let's go ahead and define target user ID. And I'm going to set this to interaction.options.get. And the option is going to be user, which is this user right here. And because this is not required, we may not have the value property. So I'm just going to add optional chaining to it. And in case this does not exist, I'm going to add an or operator. And I'm going to set this to interaction.member.id, which is basically the person running the command. Now let's go ahead and send a deferred reply. So let's say await interaction.defer reply. And once that is sent out, we can go ahead and find the user from the database. So inside our models folder, we have our users model, which has the balance inside of it. So let's go ahead and import this file inside of this command. So I'm going to say const user. And I'm going to go up two levels into the models folder. And inside of this, I'm going to get user. Back in our function, I'm going to say const user equals await user.find1. And we're going to find by the user ID. And this user ID is going to be this target user ID. So let's go ahead and paste it in there. And we're also going to need the guild ID, which is going to be interaction.guild.id. Now let's check if the user does not exist. So let's say if not user. In that case, we're going to edit our reply and we're going to say target user doesn't have a profile yet. This right here will basically mention the person using their user ID. And of course, make sure you return right after this. Now, the code below this is only going to execute if a user profile exists in the database. So let's go ahead and interaction dot edit reply. And inside of this, we're going to first check if the target user was the person running the command or not. Based on that, we can send a personalized message. So inside, we're going to be using a ternary operator and we're going to say target user ID 
equals to interaction.member.id. And I'm going to add a question mark right below it. And this basically means if target user ID exactly equals to interaction.member ID, then we're going to return the value right after this, which in this case is going to be your balance is. And then we're going to pass in the balance, which is user.balance. However, if the target user ID does not match interaction.member.id, we can go ahead and add a colon and say target user. And then we can say their balance is and do the same thing that we did above. So basically what this does is it checks if target user ID exactly equals to interaction member.id. If that is the case, it means that the person running the command is checking for their own balance. So we can say your balance is and then we can show them their balance. However, if that is not the case, then we're going to send this message, which basically means the person running the command is checking somebody else's balance. Anyway, let's go ahead and save this file and take our bot online. I'm going to be using Nodemon. However, you can directly use Node as well. Now inside of Discord, I'm going to try running the balance command. If I just send it without the user option, I'm going to get my own balance, which says your balance is 4000. However, let's try to run this balance command and try to get somebody else's balance. So in this case, I'm going to try my friend's account. So I'm going to say in Cypher. And right here, it says in Cypher's balance is 1000. So I'm going to go ahead and run my daily command. Once that is done, I can go ahead and run the balance command again. And it says my balance is 5000. Awesome. So this command works just fine. Now, if you guys are having any problems, be sure to join my discord server. Anyway, if this video helped you out, make sure to give it a like. And if you guys are enjoying my content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.